Good morning cultists, welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kuta Loops. Alright, so in the last episode we managed to take away more lands from the uh, Christians in Western Europe in the form of the Duchy of Dauphiné. Uh, we actually went to war against France, Aquitaine, and Burgundy too, I think? Yes, so now we have a truce with all of them. Meaning that our options for Western expansion are somewhat limited until our truces, ex uh, truces expire. We could actually go to war against Pickland for a Great Holy War for Pickland itself, uh, which is basically Scotland. Um, or we could go to war against the Umayyads and have a Great Holy War for Andalusia. I don't want to go for Galicia or Leon. Maybe Mauritania, but Galicia and Leon are definitely not worth it considering that they're both like only two duchy kingdoms. Whereas Andalusia is fairly expansive. And we can maybe even shove Granada back in there. But going west is unfortunately literally going in the wrong direction for us. Because we want to expand eastward. Now the issue with expanding eastward is the oncoming Mongol Empire. They are currently at war with the Altishar, I believe. About to subjugate them and all that shit. Um, this poses a bit of a problem because... The next target that I had in mind for our uh, expansion was actually the Ayuda Kingdom. We could go to war against them for a Great Holy War for Kiva. But that would then result in us sharing borders with the Mongols. Hopefully the Mongols are smart enough to realize that we are a force to be reckoned with. But considering the amount of troops that they have... Um... I don't know. It's a, it's a bit of a risk. But, I mean... Uh... I don't know. Um, other options would be to attack these guys actually in India. But the issue with that... Is that we would have to move our troops through um, areas where we don't have any supplies. Uh, I don't know if maybe setting them as raiders would really make a difference. I don't think so, but I've never tried. Um, that could be an option to have them just raid through the lands that they're marching through and then once they get there, toggle a uh, raider off and then start um, sieging that shit down. It could work, but I would like to have a kind of... Um, a spearhead base, I'd like a base of operations for our eastern expansion in Kiva so that our troops don't have to worry about uh, supply as they march on into India. But again, the Mongols. But, you know what? YOLO, let's do this. Great Holy War for Kiva? Boom, it's done. The omens are clear. Falkir Pluten has decreed, sorry, has declared the Great Holy War on Maharaja Hari of Ayuda Kingdom and the followers of the Brahma in the Kingdom of Kiva. All free Germanic men and women are encouraged to aid in the conquest of their holy places. Frey will strike down their Brahma. Um, I don't think we really need to uh, worry about their priest uh, um, caste getting involved here. I'm fairly certain they're not very violent people. Um, Retinue, why are you... Oh, what the f... Unbelievable. Stupid ass consumption. Get the hell out of my lands. Can't believe my retinue's about to take attrition here. Alright, let's get everyone involved. Uh, actually, you know what? Lower. And let's raise up everyone instead. I think that's good. Finland, you're gonna join in. As is, uh, Cro not Croatia, Lithuania. We'll have Lithuania join in from here. And Poland, you guys can join in over there. I don't know if that's enough boats to spare you guys over. Okay, definitely not. And, um... Denmark, you're getting involved. Frisia, you're getting involved. Italy is definitely getting involved. We need as much uh, support as we can get from Italy. And let's... Italy, let's just have you guys move on down there. Can you move on down here? Into the Caspian Sea? No, you can't. I'm assuming because of the, um... Fort level and all that shit. Anywhere else have some pretty crazy number of troops? What about you, Bernie? No? Fine. I mean, 2,000 is decent. It's nothing to scoff at, but I'm definitely scoffing at 2,000. What about my vassals in these places? I'm assuming less than 1,000 each. Which, again, could be helpful, but... And the grand scheme of things, maybe not. 
Okay, let's get everyone on your boats, please, if you don't mind. And let's not forget the Yums Vikings, as I always do. I think that's good for now. Okay, uh, if you could not take attrition, that'd be great. While having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by the infernal, sorry, by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Corvus has gotten into a fight with a child of one of the visiting vassals. You tear the two children apart, but it is obvious that Corvus and Refer Bertelson will not ever be friends. Um, AKA will never be friends after this encounter. So who the hell is this guy? Oh, that's Corvus. Who's Refer Bertelson? He is the son of uh, Viceroy Bertel, the spider of Norland. Is he the heir? He's not. He's not even the heir. You know what? Should we just assassinate him? It's Refer. Oh, that's his, uh, yeah. We can't. Never mind then. Whatever. I don't really care. Go suck an egg, kid. Jeez, what a little douche. And people are joining to help the defense of the, uh, other dudes. Mayor Hoffen of Visby is a renowned fighter and tactician. After having introduced himself to Corvus, Hoffen approaches you with an offer. Hoffen is willing to spend some time teaching Corvus how to pr properly pronounce the name Hoffen and why it appears in this one uh, paragraph so often. And also teach him how to fight. Let's do it. And Perm? Wait, Perm is Hindu? Sure, I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life, I can't really stop you, but, um, good luck with that. Okay, boats, get in on this action here, and we're about to take some attrition. What the fuck? No, I don't have time for this right now. Okay, no more attrition. Great. I think having a stack of 21,000 is probably going to be a little too much. I don't know what the supply limit... 11,000, okay, so we need to kind of aim around that. So we can't get these guys involved. All right, fine. I'll be, we'll have to pick you guys up ourselves. Italy is making its way over. Great. Um, we might need to trickle in some additional support later on. But I think for now, maybe this will do. It is the majority of our troops, right? We still have 20,000 unspent. Holy shit. Might not be a bad idea to get everyone involved then. But again, um, actually, yeah, could be a decent idea. Let's try to get everyone involved, if at all possible. You guys can meet up down south in Genoa, while the rest of you go up north. That's great, and then we'll have our boats uh, ferry you over whenever possible. You guys can meet up in Marienburg. That's great. Italy. Uh, Tunisia. Hey, look, Tunisia's got some boats. Nice. Is that it? Oh, right, our, um, other dudes. I see, okay. Then why don't you guys meet up here? 600 dudes just stand down. So, that doesn't seem like uh, 20,000, but I guess it kind of adds up, maybe? The last of your vassals have left and Prince Corvus looks relieved. He's obviously exhausted from all, of, all the formalities, but having been introduced like this will hopefully serve him well in the future. Great. Fantastic. Good job, Corvus. Let's have you guys... No, 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 no. There we go. Now let's have you guys move on down to the Caspian Sea. And I think that's good for now. Truce is expiring with... The fuck? Wait, what happened to you? I thought you were a king, were you not? Oh, right, I usurped your title, of course. Right, I shit all over you, and now Italy is mine again. Um, hmm. Not what I'd planned for, but Lombardy, can you supply me with more troops? Wait, what happened to your event spawn troops, Lombardy? Shit. Are they all dead? Crap. Hey, we didn't lose any troops, did we? No, we still have the Italian troops. I don't quite understand what's happening, but okay. I'll just have to accept it. As gospel. Um, that guy is fairly good, but he's ambitious, which is going to be problematic. Otherwise... Shit, all the good characters are ambitious. Genoa? No. Venice? No. Benevento? No. 
Crap. Not a lot of good options. I suppose I could go with this guy and try to maybe appease him somewhat. Could be an idea. Um, but yeah, sure, I'll give you the kingdom of uh, Italy. Don't be an upstart bitch, okay? I know you're ambitious and all that shit, but uh, just keep it in your pants, buddy boy. Alright, otherwise, the old wound has finally healed, leaving behind, sorry, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Great. I'm a Viking. Do I really care about a grotesque scar? That's a trick question. The answer is no. Okay, so the rest of our fleet is coming in. Okay, so I guess I have to go that way. That's fine. And we have made landfall. Um, we should be able to take a lot of these initial settlements pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, a lot of them are tribal, so maybe that should work out in our favor. All right, so we've gotten the first con or sorry, first top holding conquered. Well, I say conquered, but really it's just eh, whatever. Um I guess sure. Wait, no, is that everyone? What about the other dudes? Go there and the rest of you go there. There we go. Okay, uh, once you guys land, let's have you guys merge up, and you can join the Yom's Vikings there. Not the Yom's Vikings, wait, are they the Yom's Vikings? I have no idea. And the Chief of Perm has been captured. That was pathetic. That was beyond pathetic. That was so stupid. <laughs> what an idiot. And, alright. Um, ugly diplomatic daughter, learn on your own. I have no time for you. Mm, we'll just siege that down properly. What exactly are we taking from this place? Fine, whatever it is, we've just taken it. Great. Once you guys move into Aktob, I'll have these guys try to move down south. Um, if we can, that's great. And we'll just take that. Perfect. I guess it was a bit of an overkill, but you know what? That's okay. Turkestan, and then let's have you guys get ready to move down to Aral. You're making some good progress here, but we do need to kind of speed things up if we're to stay ahead of the curve here, if that makes any sense at all. So the Mongols, it seems, have taken over what was formerly known as the... I don't know where this what was what it was called before. Where have they turned their sights to now? They've gone to war... Sorry, they've decided to invade Cumania, which means that hopefully maybe they'll leave Ayuda alone. One can only hope, um, but we'll see. My beloved wife Bjorg is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. So I can be charitable, which increases my diplomacy, or I can be greedy. I don't want to piss off my wife. You know what? Let's be charitable. That's fine. There we go. Okay, let's have you guys move down south, and you guys can move down there. Steward Empress Bjorg has had some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Does this have anything to do with the uh, fashion that you asked me to introduce at court? Whatever. Don't disappoint me, steward wife. Alright, let's have you guys move down to Astert. Do need to keep an eye out on these guys though. They have 21,000 somewhere hidden away. Hopefully won't be too much of a problem, but could be problematic. Now this asshole's joined in with a 7,000. Crapola. This could get ugly fast, which means that we need to basically make sure all of our armies are within uh, reach of each other. Consumption in my lands again? Go away. Yom's Vikings stand down. Okay, let's have our boats go back and try to pick these guys up as best as we can. Might be a little problematic. If we can actually get there before the war... Nope, that's it. That's... They've lost. Son of a bitch. Fuck Biscuit. Fine. Go in to attack them. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. But we might be able to catch them with a couple of stacks of our own. Okay. If we can get there with the reinforcements, we should be able to win this. And boom, there we go. Holy shit. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, nice. This is 
is awesome. Holy shit. Wow. Successful Great Holy War for Kiva. I apologize if I blew out your eardrums from that, but damn, you saw what happened. Holy crap. Just as uh, just when I thought things were about to get um, ugly and shit. No, we turned it around and captured this asshole. Nice. I mean, I can't really say he's an asshole. He was just basically uh, doing everything he could to protect his own empire or kingdom. The Allfather has granted Falkir Pluten victory in the Great Holy War for Kiva against Maharaja Hari of Ayuda Kingdom. Falkir Pluten has called for a month of celebration across the whole pagan world. Praise the Allfather. Nice, nice, nice. And none of our troops will be taking any penalties if they get disbanded. That's great. So let's disband my vassal and domain troops. Um, fleet levies? You guys can stand down too. That's fine. Do I have any other fleet levies? We do, but eh, they've all gone home perfectly. All right, great. That's going to be a lot of territory for us to give away though. And I don't like that Ugir has this place. Can we attack them? They are very, very fractured. Which means that it could be problematic if we try to attack them and win. We go for the conquest of Samarkand, which I believe is this county. Um, but I feel like this war would kind of get dragged out a little bit. Let's worry about this first, and then we'll come back to this later. That's a lot of territory. Hopefully, this doesn't entice the Mongols too, too much. But this could become problematic pretty quickly. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to defending this place, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be pretty ugly. But... All for the, um... All for the, uh, greater good, right? The greater good of some of, uh... Of, uh, spreading our Germanic love all over the world. In a non-sexual way. Maybe. Or probably in the most sexual of ways. Well, whatever. Whatever floats our boat at that time, I guess. Okay, that's the last few places, I think. Yeah. A lot of um, smaller counties in this area, but then again... Yeah, this is fairly undeveloped. Which I guess makes a lot of sense. Except for Kiva here. Veritable powerhouse. Holy shit. Gotta make sure that Kiva goes to the best dude. Um, otherwise... It's good. I think... Just the last few counties. Is that it? That might not be it. Nope, we've forgotten this place. Oops. My bad. Didn't mean to forget you guys. There we go. So now we just need to give away the uh, counties. Which is no small feat, believe me. We can usurp this? He's at war. We can't usurp this. Um... We might actually need to be slightly over our vassal limit for a little while, but hopefully that should be okay. Let's try to find, like, the best dude possible for Kiva. Boothil. Do we want Boothil to be the best dude for Kiva? That's the Duchy of Kiva, which we can actually create. What about this place? That's Dihistan, right? Yes. We can create that as well. What about this place? This is Merv. Ah, the Raj of Merv. Currently at war. For Khorasan. Huh, okay. Interesting. I'm assuming you're defending against that, right? Yes. Let's see. From this guy. Interesting. The Leper. Huh. Okay, well, that's fascinating. But let's start giving away some of our titles here. Boothil Hill, here, Hill, here will be the Count of, uh, of, uh, Kiva. We'll make him the Duke and whatnot later on, but for now, we'll just keep him as the Count. Until I have distributed all the other lands. Because otherwise, I will get very confused very fast. You can be the... What's the next best, best place here? Um, let me see if maybe there's a ledger that shows me. Domain? No, it's not quite the uh, number that I'm looking for. Realm. This shows the entire place, though, so that's not helpful either. 
Right, fine. Then our next best place is... Merv, I guess. Yeah, fine. We'll have to find someone for Merv. Let's go with... Uh, Schooly? No, I'm fairly... Oh, yeah. Thorstein. Thorstein, you can be the Count of Merv. So that's Merv taken care of. And we need to find someone for... Where is this? Fergana. Fergana is part of Samarkand. Right. I see. Okay, for Samarkand, let's go with... <laughs> this guy! Falky, the Berserker. The Mystic Berserker. Perfect. Uh, Where is Samarkand? Wait, is it Samarkand? No, it's Fergana. Fergana, there we go. So I think that's the majority of the uh, duchies there. Merv. Dihistan, right. Not a lot of amazing places here, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm thinking... Dihistan itself will have to be the, uh, the capital for that place. We'll go with a Sverker. Or a Skurver. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Okay, so that's the majority of the dudes, um, granted. I just noticed this. What's happening again? Ah, oh, fucking consumption. Unbelievable. Good grief. Get the hell out of here, man. No, I do not need help uh, managing my titles. I need help managing my life. Mmm. Okay, let's start giving away lands to, like, basically everyone. Ivar? Congratulations. You can be the Count of Urgench. And Carl? You can be the Count of Bukhara. Good for you. And who else? Freyr? Basically anyone who is of decent age, who's not castrated or missing on the other uh, parts of their giblets, and who is not a complete and utter asshole, will be eligible. And so let's go with Vagin as well. Principal, obviously related to a principal vagina from uh, Rick and Morty. And Cole, we can't. Why not? Court Physician of Croatia. What does that have to do with anything? Ah, part of the rebellion, I see. Okay, fine. Then, excuse me, can you not be blinking at me? Thank you. Nope, still fucking blinking at me. Come on, man. What the shit? Can you, how do I get rid of that? Here, how about I... There, actually that, that did the trick, just opening up that screen. I didn't need to freak out as much as I did there. Um, Nupa! No, no, you're too old. Get out of here. Cole? Right. Part of the Rebellion. Got it. Guthmunder. Dashuuz. And I think just a few more counties left to give. Class. You can take my uh, mayonnaise. And Heising? I'm gonna give you Balk. Who else? Who else here is eligible? Not that guy, because he's ambitious. I don't want there to be too much um, internal strife as we uh, face the Mongol onslaught, which is coming in hot and heavy. Uh, Skurver? You can take Maishuno or whatever that place is called, I forget. Obviously not Maishuno, I think it actually started with an O. I don't know why I thought Maishuno. I don't even know what Maishuno is, I think it's a uh, sound that one of the, uh, like, the Sims make sometimes. Let's go ahead and start giving duchies away, too. Yeah, Dihistan? I mean, actually, I'm gonna go with this guy instead. He's not the guy that we agreed on before. That being said, though... It's fine. And I don't want to make them uh, vice royalties. Not right now, anyways. You can definitely be the uh, Jarl of... Wait. Kiva? Oh, I have to create it. I see. Okay, well then you are the Jarl of Kiva, and we have run out of money. Straight up. Son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. Um... Oh, steward, what are you doing? No, 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 you need to be collecting taxes. We need you. Hopefully this should turn around a little bit. Maybe? Nope, it's gotten worse. It has gotten worse. Why? 
retinue upkeep. Hmm. Isn't my marshal currently organizing the army? Yeah. Oof, I don't know. Okay, um, so we do need to watch out for the Mongols. They're currently attacking Duke Oog the Fat. Ugh. Hmm. Now, it could be a good idea for me to attack Oog here now. I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, sure, let's do it. And then we'll get these guys to attack them. Maybe we'll actually get some, uh, get some out of this. Hopefully. Dangerous faction? What the hell, man? Poland, what is your problem? What is your major malfunction, Poland? Can I grant him independence? I can. Ooh. What is this? You've usurped some shit? Good for you. Hmm. I don't think I necessarily need to hold on to Poland here. Yeah, we might be... Okay, to grant them independence. Now, uh, Italy, however. Huh. Hey, wait, why isn't uh, Venice part of you? You want Venice, right? No? Does he not care about Venice? Really? Very strange. Um, I don't quite understand what's going on, but... Apparently, Venice is not considered to be part of Italy? Is that right? I can't even shove this kid inside of him. I don't get it. What's happening? Ah, the papacy. I see. Okay, fine. Huh. That's interesting. I guess somehow I just accidentally uh, put Venice inside of Italy before. Which is fine. Actually, what's going on with the... Uh, got another 22 years to go before that gets integrated. Which means that in... 20 or something years, we should probably think about um, granting them independence. That's fine. We've actually made landfall into uh, Africa. So I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Um, the same cannot be said about our border that we're sharing with the uh, Mongols, though. So that's going to be interesting. More dangerous factions? Come on, man. Don't do this. You are the usurper of Poland. Should we do it? Should we grant Poland independence? We might need all the help we can get for, um, for our potential fight with the Mongols. That being said, I don't know if Poland's gonna be super, super helpful. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Poland? Here you go, buddy. You are now independent. Congratulations, Poland. Congratulations. Fantastic. Look at this. Holy crap. Look at this. Nice. Oh, they're looking so good. Except, hmm. I think the Hindus are basically our biggest contenders. Which is interesting. Not normally the case, but... I think, if anything, this entire campaign has been largely unorthodox. Uh, pun intended. No, I will do nothing. 46% already? Wow. Actually making really good progress with this war. 70%. We basically just need to like fight them once and I think that's it. Damn. Not as uh, long as I thought it would be. Okay, let's keep an eye out on the uh, diseases here. As he's growing older, I can see that Corvus could use some guidance in, my, in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Corvus. Corvus? Be ambitious, son. Go get him. And let me bribe you. Perfect. Now he hates me less. Okay, 79%. 100%. There we go. Boom. That's all I wanted for Christmas. Fantastic. Okay. Samarkand, let's start giving this away. Can we start usurping duchy titles? No, not quite. We need to find someone for this place, too. And it's going to be... Rolfer! Boom. We have to usurp that, and I think we have to usurp Merv as well, but we can't because they're at war. Got it. Hey, look at that! We can actually usurp it! Ha <laughs> ha! Just as I finish my sentence. Uh... Guess I should. That's money. 
money money that we don't really have. But we'll go for it anyways. Because it'll still at least uh, reduce my vassal number. You want the arbitrary dude? Yeah, let's go for it. There you go, man. You are now the Jarl of Merv. And Samarkand. Let's give it to this guy. Kital. Not the guy that we agreed upon before, but that's okay. There you go. Now we're just one above our vast limit. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's end the episode off here for now and continue this tomorrow. Um, made some pretty amazing progress here today. And uh, hopefully it'll only get better. But it might get very... Very bad, very fast with the Mongols here now. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be bad. Oof. All right. Again, let's see with all this stuff in the next episode, or maybe never. Hopefully, never. All right. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.